Hi, today I thought I'd do something a bit different. Um, I've been listening back a few times now actually that FED debate between with uh, Brian and the changing of density of the gas if at a temperature. And I was thinking, I, I agree with Brian and I agree with what Nathan in the panel said. So this can actually go either way. So why don't we test it out? So I thought, okay, let's do a practical demonstration because if it is what Nathan's saying, it, it's because it's increasing the, the expansion, it's just increasing the volume of the, of the um, container due to the part, the gas is just moving faster, which is true. I mean, Avogadro's law, it's the same if you're gonna take a loose, um, a loose wall and stick it on a, on a container and you just heat it up it's going to be hitting it much faster and thus it's going to be increasing the pressure uh, in pressure and that's will increase the volume so it's yeah it goes hand and force law but what if it is also the density changing because it is creating more volume well I thought maybe we can do a practical demonstration and just make deductions off of that so here was the demonstration. Um, I have an ordinary heat gun that I just used to heat up the ordinary water bottle that's on the scale. So we can um, deduce for ourselves what's really going on. Okay, so here's the first uh, demonstration. Um, I'm just trying to heat the bottle up. Um, ignore the scale as it's showing it um, going down. Um, in the weight as a moment because it's actually just the hot air from the breeze that's pushing on the scale that's coming out of the uh, heat gun so it doesn't really matter what it's showing out in it the, the key factor is in the beginning it showed zero because I I um, set it to zero I teared it out and then what I want to see is when I put the heat gun off what is going to happen if the heat has actually made it less dense and thus it will weigh less and then if it cools down then it will um, become heavier so we're actually looking for a minus if I put the heat gun down so let's just uh, watch and see what happens Okay, and here I decided to put the heat gun off. Yeah, we can see, okay, it's sitting minus one, so that's already showing it's uh, less denser than what it was before it was heated up. Um, oh, there we go. And now it's back to what it was in originally before it was heated. Now this can go both ways, I said. It could be that the just it's got less energy, so it's not hitting around all over, and thus it's not pushing into scale more, or it is just now dense again okay here I, I tried to do it again the second time yeah you see i've added i actually took some air out and teared it and then i decided to use even more heat this time just to see if it uh, will give the same effect well as you can see i'm putting adding more heat and you're gonna hear the bottle um expanding you're gonna hear it pumping up and expanding as it's going along Okay, so yeah, I've put it off and you can see it's on minus two where the previous it showed minus one So the more he definitely uh, Had it more exaggerated Could it just be that it's hitting the bottle and thus on the scale with more pressure and thus giving it more weight? Or could it just be that it's actually just the density that's changed? Well, I just changed the camera angle just to make it easier to see the bottle um, crimping again as it's cooling down and to see the scale as it's, well, getting heavier again. So as I said, it could go one or two ways. Option one, it could just be the pressure hitting the whole bottle against the scale with more force and thus giving it more weight, less weight. Or it could just be that it um, was 
just the density changed like Brian said um, according to me with my opinions I do actually agree more with Brian at this point especially seeing this but I take it to you guys do it yourself and deduce for yourself um, any criticism will be valued and I would like to actually carry on with this and figure out what it could be well thanks for watching and God bless.